this exam in this video we'll be looking at example E. So we're looking at expanding binomials using combinatorics and Pascal's triangle. So example E, we firstly assess our A and B coefficients and our binomial. So this part is our A and this part is our B. And here is our N. So we write A, B, and N is 4, negative 2, and a half A. Our next step is to expand the binomial. So, we've got this equal to. Now our highest power is 4. So we go 4 choose 0. We write out the first, which is half A. Give a bit of space, negative 2. Plus, 4 choose 1, half a, negative 2, plus 4 choose 2, a half a, negative 2. So there we have it, just loading up now, we're putting in all our powers. Now the higher the power, the rule of thumb is the less space you have. So the power of 4, you can see I'm running out of space here. So hopefully you can fit it all in. Let's have a look. Okay, not quite. So I'm just going to have to, um, we're going to have to make do with that for the time being. But unfortunately, because I can't, oh no, I can move it. There we go. <laughs> um, we can have a look. There we go. Beautiful, we just fit it in the screen. Um, we can have a look at that power over there. So we've got 4 choose 0, 4 choose 1, 4 choose 2, 4 choose 3, 4 choose 4. Let's assess that using Pascal's. So 4 choose 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So I'm just going to replace that under that with 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Next step is to put in our powers. So our half A component here, this has the highest power to start off with, which is four. And this will be zero. This will be three, two, one, and zero. We increment the B coefficients from zero. So I've already got zero there. One, two, three, and four. If we can just fit that in. <laughs> And then we assess these. So let's have a look. We've got half a. So half the power of 4 is 1 on, what's that, half, 4, 8, 16. a to the 4 times by n to the power of 0 is 1 plus. And negative 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Our next step is to simplify these. So and we're just moving through our terms. So we've just done this one here. It's negative a cubed, so 4 times that's going to be a half times a negative times by negative 2 is negative 1. Let's cancel this one out. So here's our answer. To eliminate, uh, to simplify this more, um, I don't like the plus negatives, so let's just make them negative. Move another one over here. Let's confirm this answer using our fastpad. So, action, expand, and then I type in to the power of 4. And our coefficients are negative 2 and half A.
so a, a to the 4 and 16, yep. Take a cubed plus 6a squared, take 16a plus 16. So we can see here that this expansion has worked. 